All right. Hello. Hi. Nice Hi, Brett. Good to see you again. Good to see you. Okay. So, um, a little, a little bit of my backstory, but not too much. I think the most part, I would say things started kicking off for me in 2017, but then really, uh, I think it was a number of things coming together that, that started my Kundalini awakening. And now I'm noticing, and I don't know if this is the case, but my eight year old, I feel like, is it possible that children can go through this? Because I feel like a lot of the things that I'm noticing are very similar behaviors to my own during that process. Because when I, when we come into hard times, I know they're spiritual. Like I can tell that there's something spiritual happening beyond, um, you know, like there's, there's no mental health there. There's no issues with them. I, I really truly feel that it's a spiritual movement in them. And I'm wondering if this is a thing in children. Oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. Um, so great share. Thank you. This is, it's, it's interesting, unique, exciting. Um, I don't have kids myself. However, I was a child, so I can speak yeah. from that. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, so definitely kids come into this world with prior lifetime experience uh, of traveling the path. And some come in uh, uh, consciously choosing particular parents because you know your journeys are synergistic and meant to support one another. Um, you're, you'll always be their parent, but at times they mm -hmm. may actually be a teacher for you in different different yeah. ways. You know, you don't give them that power and you don't you know completely surrender the parent child dynamic. That's important, but they can teach you a thing or two, which all children can. I mean, they, they've got things figured out. We just forgot, right? But uh, yes, yeah, yeah. It is, it's not uncommon at all. Um, I've spoken to maybe about somewhere like 10 people with kids uh, that are experiencing stuff like this. I spoke to one gentleman. He said, you know, he went into his daughter's room. His daughter's like three years old and she's doing all sorts of mudras with her hands. And they're like, a, you know, a white family from like, actually Toronto where you're from. So it's not like they're like Indian right. people, you know, watching like, you know, any of this stuff or religious stuff influencing her. It's just completely organically happening. Um, yeah. There's a great, uh, like, a, you know, you could say he's a saint, um, JP Vaswani. Let me just see. I wrote his name down here. Yeah. JP Vaswani is from India. If I'm not mistaken, his uncle was like a great spiritual master. And so when he came into this world, he connected with his uncle and as from a child he had like all sorts of cities and and great abilities and he, and he maintained his practice and he, and he was like you know did incredible work jp jp vaswani um mm -hmm. so there's like examples of that um also um i forgot what i was going to say but but essentially yes what i was going to say was there's a there's a talk by a woman and multiple interviews and presentations by her, actually. Her name is Anne Matthew. I can type okay. her name in the chat. She sure. may have some insight for you. Now, I admit, I admit I haven't explored her work too in depth, but I know that her dad had gone through Kundalini Awakening and was, you know, a pretty advanced person. And her dad used to talk to her at, when she was a young child about this stuff. And she would listen mm -hmm. very closely, intently. When she was, I think, in her teens, she had a Kundalini awakening. And when it happened, she said, ah, this is what dad was talking about. And she kind of knew what to do or was able to figure it out. So, you know, you may be able to, you know, figure out uh, a thing or two there. Um, overall, though, if you have questions, you know, what do I do? Ultimately, remember that, you know, um, something brought you two together and that something won't let you guys mess this up. It's going to unfold right. how it needs to unfold. So you just follow your intuition, relax, relate. You know, you can share, you can maybe even just provoke them with interesting questions. You know, what do you think happens? You know, where were you before, before you, you know, were in this world? Maybe they'll tell you something. Meditation, mindfulness, just basic emotional intelligence, bringing their attention to the body. Um, you know, yeah. whatever it is that feels right for you, you just show your child, you teach them. But um, the best thing you can do, in my opinion, being a child that had a lot of spiritual openness, the best thing you can do is just not instill fear, not tell them that something wrong with them. And yeah, yeah, um, of course, of course. Know. And, and, and in our house, like we're very open about that. And, and I know like they've communi he's communicated to me about like being able to sense spirits too. Like he's very open and, and I'm, I'm all about that, you know, I'm so I'm, 
uh, very, very metaphysical. So I'm okay with that. But I just didn't realize that, you know, it can happen so soon. 